the Easter season. So you're probably hearing a lot of people tell you about why you should invite someone to church. I'm here to tell you why that's a bad idea. You heard me right. Bad idea. Terrible idea. Worst idea ever. Here's why. First of all, it's way too obvious. Inviting someone to an Easter service? It's not subtle. It's not organic. It's not naturally springing from your relationship with unchurched people. Ever heard of friendship evangelism? Ever heard of authenticity? Throw that out the window. If you invite someone to an Easter service, they're gonna know exactly what you're up to. You want them to hear about Jesus so they can trust in him, have eternal life in Christ. It's pretty on the nose, don't you think? It's got like zero subtext. People are gonna smell that one coming a mile away. Mmm. Thanks, Tom. Second, they might say no. Then what? Then you're both gonna spend the rest of your lives pretending like that never happened. They'll probably make up some lame excuse to spare your feelings, but then they're gonna need to be really careful to make sure they don't post anything to Instagram or Twitter when they're supposed to be at their Aunt Lucy's bat mitzvah. Newsflash, your neighbor doesn't have an Aunt Lucy, and they think you don't know what a bat mitzvah is because you go to a Jesus church. You just made them into a liar because you asked them to do something weird, and now both of you are gonna feel terrible about it forever. Hey Mike, I got six burgers in one stomach, you coming over? Sure. Third, they might say yes. Even worse. What if they actually come to church with you, and in spite of all the parking and the singing and the weird people that, yeah, you know, I mean, you've kind of come to love, but let's be honest, are still a little bit warped. What if in spite of all of that, they still get really interested, and they start coming every week, and then they trust in Christ, and then they start coming to you with all their problems and their questions about their faith? What then? You don't have time for that. You can barely manage the relationships you have right now. You added all those friends to your Facebook, and now they expect you to like every single witty comment and cat picture they post. How are you going to add an actual relationship with a brand new believer who needs actual, you know, help? Let's be honest. An invitation to an Easter service is just another promise you're not going to deliver on, isn't it? Jason! Yo! Lunch? Fourth, why Easter? Why not Groundhog Day, or Arbor Day, or St. Swithin's Day? Jesus is still going to be around on Flag Day, isn't he? I mean, this isn't like a limited time offer or anything, right? In fact, I bet your neighbors are still going to be pagans in the fall. Why don't you just wait to do it then? There's no big rush to do it right this second. Easter is a busy day. You've got a sunrise service, you've got an egg hunt, you've got a big family dinner. Inviting someone to church to hear the gospel is just going to screw up the whole schedule. Looks nice, Steph. Thanks. Finally, let's do the math. Do we really need any more people in this place? The more people we have here, the more work there is for everyone. Hello, nursery duty. Hello, kitchen committee. Hello, pastor. No, I would not like to be on the visitation team. Thank you very much. We wouldn't have to do any of this if we could all just agree to stop inviting people to Easter services. Let's get on the same page here. Do not let anyone manipulate you into doing something that makes you feel uncomfortable. Just say no. It's probably what your neighbors were gonna say anyway. Hey Carl, how's it going? How are the kids? Awesome.